What's happening, film friends? David the Film Junkie here. Sony Entertainment, or Sony Home Entertainment, I should say. They're uh, they're changing up the game a little bit here. Yeah, this is uh, very interesting. I'm actually kind of curious to see what you guys think about this. But it was announced today that uh, Sony Home Entertainment from Sony Pictures is going to release clean versions of their movies. That's right. And they already have 24 films that they're already going to start off with. I mean, these are these aren't even like R-rated films, but they're like PG-13. You know, and they got like Big Daddy, Fifty First Date, Step Brothers, Talladega Nights, the Spider-Man movies, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, stuff like that. Mainly, it seems like comedies and everything. And uh, yeah, the reason why they're doing this is says a new home entertainment initiative from Sony Pictures offering clean versions of movies in hopes of appealing to a wider audience. Is already drawing, and yeah, of course, and then, yeah, Seth Rogen's not too happy, guys, as you can see right here. Now, none of his movies are on the list yet, and honestly, I don't see how they could water down and clean up any of his movies, which is fine. Um, and uh, so I don't know, I mean, this is what he said, holy shit, please don't do this to our movies, blah, blah, blah. Now, I could see his gripe. I could totally see his gripe, but I can also see the other side, too. This is what I try to do. I try to see both sides of the argument. Now, on one end, Seth Rogen's end, it's like, okay, this is almost like uh, you're just going to fuck up the movies. I mean, yeah, you're just going to fuck up our movies. You're not, you know, it's not gonna. they're not going to be released. People aren't going to see them the way that they should see them. It's almost like a form of censorship. Yes, I could totally see that. But on the other side... When these movies are on TV, they get scrubbed out and there's clean versions and they, you know, they make, they, they turn asshole into animal and yeah, it gets a little weird. I just wish they would just bleep as opposed to try to do voiceovers, which, you know, you stupid animal. That I don't like too much, but whatever. And the clean version project will make the, the broadcast TV or airline version pretty much title available when consumer purchases a film in its original form on iTunes, Vudu, and Fandango now. So this is going to be on streaming service as well. You can have a clean version. Now, I could see this being smart in a way because, I mean, if say you want to... Say there's a movie, you know, Fifty First First Dates, Big Daddy. Maybe there's a couple of questionable scenes. Maybe those will be scrubbed out a little bit. And then kids and the whole family can just enjoy the whole movie. No cuss words, no nothing. It, it, this is kind of like a double-edged sword. And I, I'm curious to see what you guys say about this. And I put it on the news channel because this is news. And uh, I just thought it was interesting. I mean, just to clean it up. I mean, a Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. I mean, I guess they would, like, tone down the violence a little bit. I don't remember that being, like, gory or anything. But uh, I don't know. It's interesting. But I can, I, I can understand doing it a little bit. Like, this... The reason why, it's a slow news day, as you could tell. And I just wanted to tackle this a little bit because I could see both sides. I could see why Seth Rogen is uh, griping a little bit, but I don't think they're going to end up doing that to his movies because it seems like they're going to have to do a lot of scrubbing and they're going to have to get Mr. Clean up in that biatch. But uh, the other movies, I could kind of see it. I don't know. You you guys let me know. What do you think about this? Do you think this is okay? I mean, it's like you could still get the regular version, but say like you, you know, you had family around, maybe you have uh, Nana in town, you know, she's, you know, she's old fashioned. She don't like all the F-bombs or some cuss words, stuff like that. You put on a movie that you maybe she'll like the actual plot and story and actors, but she don't want to hear all the cuss words. I don't know. To me, it doesn't seem that bad, but at the same time, I can see why Seth Rogen's like, no, but I don't know. You let me know down below in the balls area, guys. What do you think about this? Do you like this idea? And do you think that other studios will start doing this as well? If this catches on, do you think so? Let me know down below, guys. Please hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the other channel, too. Follow me on the social media stuff floating above my head. Talk to you later.